Welcome back to another pack opening. This time I'm doing Chronicles. I hope both of my viewers are doing well. It's still okay to buy these packs. I've had this for a while in my collection, but it's okay to buy these packs. Just don't buy wax packs because they've all been searched, even the graded ones. Uh, let's see. I think the Uncommons, it's similar to 4th edition where... There's an uncommon, then a rare, and another uncommon, I believe, but these should all be commons on this side. Ooh, beautiful artwork. Emerald Dragonfly. Quentin Hoover. There's a beautiful artwork. Like a stained glass. Somebody should make a stained glass a window like that with that design. Flying first strike until end of turn. I know collectors didn't like it um, back in the 90s because they reprinted reprinted their cards. Wall of Shadows. Reduced to zero blocking creatures. Wall of Heat. Another beautiful artwork that would probably look good as <laughs> stained glass. That one's by Richard Thomas. 2-6 wall. It's the second wall I've got in this pack. I think the only things are Blood Moon. Uh, the, the big money cards are Blood Moon and uh, Concordant Crossroads, I believe. Repentant Blacksmith. I love Drew Tucker, Tucker's art. <clears throat> Especially her Jackal and Clockwork Beast. I think I have a Clockwork Beast signed by Drew Tucker. Uh, Keepers of the Faith. A terrible card. Daniel Jelen. Beautiful artwork, though. It's all beautiful. I say that every time. It starts to lose its meaning, but it is. It's fun. Uh, Mark Teden. That almost looks like something that Anson Maddox would would paint. His, his artwork, like Singer Vampire, Living Wall. It's a little, I don't know, fleshy and kind of a horror theme to it. Remove Soul. Counter target summon spell for two mana. It's an interrupt. I like playing with the old rules. Interrupts are faster. Ah, uh, Urza's Tower. That's the uh, the tropical, the Caribbean. <laughs> Urza's Caribbean uh, home. That's Urza's Caribbean uh, Tower. That's where he goes. Where He's a winter bird. He likes to get away in the winter time, and he goes down to his Caribbean Tower. Uh, Urza put Tokasia's lessons on resource gathering to effective use. I think there's three or four of those. I don't know if they were all reprinted in uh, Chronicles, but I know there's a plains. I think there's a forest one. I don't know if there's a mountain one. I don't know. Ooh, bog rats. Gross. Oh, I never realized that. There's a small little rat right there. A baby rat. It's pretty disgusting. Cannot be blocked by walls. Well, that works. So if you got your walls, you can't block it. Uh, I think uncommon, rare, uncommon. I think. Because I don't think bog rats is an uncommon. Yeah, for sure. It's got to be. Uh, Zera Arian. I don't think this is worth anything because it's Chronicles. It's a reprint. But still a Melissa Benson. Beautiful artwork. We can appreciate that all the same. Ooh, Beasts of Bogarden. Five for a 3-3 three, three protection from red. No print problem there. Nothing new to wizards. <laughs> Typical. Typical. As long as any opponent controls any white cards, beats the garden becomes a 4-4, four, four, basically. 4-4 four, four for 5. Still terrible. Rabid Wombat. Kaja Foglio gets plus 2, plus 2 for each creature enchantment on it. Attacking does not cause it to tap. That's an odd characteristic for green, right? It's vigilance is something white has. Uh, that's a, not a very good card. Be a 2-3 for 4 if it had an enchantment. So this was the good card, I think. But I don't think it's worth anything because it's the Chronicles version. 
Hope both my viewers are doing well. That was still fun to open. Talk to you again soon.